Good morning, coming to you from Newark Airport, Best Western. And I'm leaving for the airport in about 15 minutes, going to San Jose. Then I need to get a small internal flight to Tambor on the Nicoya Peninsula just to get over this kind of bit of water. And then I'm getting an hour taxi ride. So I've been screenshotting everything, making sure I'm like aware of what I'm going to be doing today because I learned when I went to Mexico last time, you must screenshot everything because you may not necessarily have Wi-Fi. And what happened then was I didn't have Wi-Fi and then my, I was on, oh, what network was I on? I was on some American phone network and it was meant to work in Mexico, but I had absolutely no signals. So screenshot everything. So I've been doing that this morning, figuring out all the legs of my journey, making sure that I know where I'm meant to be and when. I didn't get much sleep last night because of the time difference. So I don't even know what time I'm on. Obviously I'm on a different time to England and then I'm also on a different time to Costa Rica where I'm ending up. So I got about two hours of good sleep and then my body was like, oh, it's morning, but it, it definitely wasn't morning here. So yeah, pretty tired. I am so excited to get there. I just want to get there. It's been a crazy few days. Like even before these two days of traveling to Costa Rica, I went to a wedding all weekend, three day wedding in a in like a big manor house and then the day before that i spent from 8 a.m to 10 p.m traveling back from greece so it has been well after day it will be six days of moving around traveling non-stop craziness and i am just so beyond excited to settle down in the same airbnb for three freaking months three months oh so excited five minute walk from the beach in the jungle just get me there now i'm so excited My goodness I have made it I have freaking made it it has been a wild wild ride and it was incredibly stressful today actually when I was in New York because it's the summer holidays don't fly across the world in the summer holidays I I didn't even cross my mind like it's just what lines up with my kind of life and travel schedule but it was absolutely manic Newark Airport was pretty horrific everyone was in a foul mood it was busy it was humid af so yeah i'm just so relieved and happy to be here i will obviously be taking you around i have literally just landed pretty much met the host for the airbnb i'm here for three whole months the longest i've done in a single airbnb so far so i'm just about to go to the supermarket I've just had to do my usual things of like, look where the recycling is. Can I drink the water here? Uh, and I like to go out when I first land in a place just to get grounded and, and realize where I am. Like I never like going somewhere and then trying to sleep because I, I don't know the place I'm in, if that makes any sense. So I like to at least do a little walk around, have an idea of where I am and then, and then I will definitely be relaxing. I am um, really excited to watch Zac Efron's documentary. I can't remember the name of it. I've watched it before, but he does an episode about Costa Rica. I wanna say Down Under, but that's not right. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the video when I've had a look what it is, but it's actually a really good series. He travels all around the world and he does an episode in Costa Rica and I watched it when I was living you know, my normal life a while ago. And the food just looks so nourishing. And it was all these incredible exotic fruits and vegetables. And Ali and I were watching it as we were in our house in England, just like, this is how you eat. Like, this is how you eat food. This is nourishment. So I actually was speaking to someone in the airport, this American guy, and who's moved to Costa Rica. And he was talking all about the fruit and how it's just absolutely exceptional and how there are so many different fruits that you've never even heard of before. So I am most excited about the food so far. I'm gonna go and, oh, actually it looks like it's about to rain. Uh, I might go and try and find the beach. I'm a five minute walk from the beach. Yes, which is awesome. So I imagine I'll be doing a lot of creative work already as I was flying in. I was like, hmm, 
that's going to be some creativity happening, happening here for sure. Definitely starting to work on my second book, which I, I've, I got the first line for back in May, which was like three months ago, and I haven't had anything since. I've got like loads of notes, but the actual like final word. So that might be happening here. We shall see. I'm not going to force it, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to the supermarket now rest and just try and get on this time zone basically so i will see you tomorrow it is 7 a.m and i have made it to the beach what an incredible place i've just been trying to take some pictures on my phone and it doesn't do it justice at all it is incredibly beautiful there's like this mist over the sea which I think you can just kind of see which gives it this hazy ethereal kind of vibe and my heart is just so happy my human self is terrified because I don't actually know anyone that's here at the moment and the Spanish is a bit of an issue for me because I don't know any <laughs> we don't learn it in school in England we learn French and German so I don't even have like a foundational knowledge of a few words so that's a little bit frightening when I was in the taxi yesterday um, I, I think he asked me if I speak Spanish he said something something Espanol I was like no and so it was a very uh, quiet taxi drive so I'm gonna be learning Spanish while I'm here that's one of my goals and uh, I will probably be going for morning walks every day on this beach I've been walking along for quite a while now so I need to make sure I don't do get lost and can find my way back but I am um, extremely happy extremely happy I'm surrounded by palm trees and when I see palm trees I know I'm in the right place there we go palm trees as part of this new diet I'm just trying to eat the rainbow I've got some kale raisins grated carrot I'm frying up some tofu peppers and aubergine boiling a beetroot and cooking some quinoa this is literally the healthiest I've ever eaten in my life and it's lighting me up it feels really good like I was always so trapped by the fear of how hard it would be an attachment to convenience or what my idea of convenience was but yeah this feels very very in tune for me right now the finished product hello hello I have been here for a week and a half now so I thought I should come and update you on what it's like after I've kind of settled in because when I first got here it was like terrifying, scary, and I was just fried from all the traveling as well and the time zone hopping. Then the few days after that was like a big high. I was just like so in awe of the place. And then of course after that I've kind of, you know, settled into the daily rhythm and still loving it. The weather is really interesting. So I actually love this weather. And when I spoke to my Airbnb host, she was like, yeah, this is the best time to come. But online, it's like, you know, rainy season, there's so much rain. But one thing I found is that it has just rained in the evening and at night. 
So I, I mean, touch wood, I haven't been caught in it once. Last night I actually got woken up by this epic <laughs> rainstorm. It was the loudest rainstorm I've ever heard. I was actually scared. And like, I'm not someone who ever gets scared in storms because what's there to be scared of? But this was so loud. Like I, I wish I could share with you how loud it was. I've never heard anything like it. Um, so that was a little bit scary. Uh, but yeah, I've not been caught in it at all. And like before last night, we'd had like three days of clear blue skies. So I can only speak for where I am specifically, Santa Teresa on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. I know it's different on the other side, but I'm here in August and, and loving it kind of weather wise. The language barrier is very much a thing. So I'm doing Duolingo every morning, I've got a subscription to that. I'm also trying to figure out food, like I found the supermarkets, but I'm trying to eat, you know, healthily. And I've just reintroduced eggs actually yesterday because I was feeling like I needed a bit more. I was feeling quite weak um, and just really feeling like I needed to add eggs back in. So obviously, you know, I'm gonna follow my intuition with that. But uh, yeah, I'm here for another two and a half months. So by no means is this the end. But I do feel like I'm in the swing of what my life in Costa Rica is kind of going to be like. I've started making some friends, going to a few events. I'm meeting up with a new friend on Tuesday. We're going to go for a dog walk and a smoothie. So it feels like life is really forming here, which I'm really happy about. So if you have any recommendations for Santa Teresa in Costa Rica, then definitely drop them down below in the comments. I'd be super interested to hear. And, you know, if you have any questions for me or anything around being a digital nomad, traveling full time, living in Airbnbs, like all that kind of stuff, then you can just ask me in the comments as well. I, I love talking about this stuff because it's something that I always wanted. I remember years ago in 20... 2016 I remember reading the four hour work week by Tim Ferriss and this is you know pretty much what he did really and I was like wow can you imagine and now six years later <laughs> it's happening um so yeah be patient I I've set up an Instagram page to share quotes from my book living in tune every day ones that I you know intuitively flick the pages and I, I pick some words that stand out and share them on this Instagram page and I just posted one about patience and this is definitely the case with regards to designing this type of lifestyle so if it is something that you really want to do then it definitely is totally possible for you.